trust me. Eloise said you. Cranberry sauce. Hotel Foxtrot. Hello, fellow vampires. My name is Yorick, and once again, we step into the night. But first, we're going to talk to Chunk. Sorry, no one's loud up right now. Aw, oh, come on, Chunk. I still don't see your very and green. One of them gets the chips. <laughs> <laughs> but I promised a little visit to Pisha because we have a book that's not really doing us any good. Or is it? I should check. Voice of the Dead by Vanetti Marcus Giovanni. Cool. Now I wonder what Pish is going to use it for. It's probably not the same thing. What did Beckett raise up, by the way? Beckett gave us something. I really don't know. Beckett, you raised one of my stats, but I couldn't for the life of me tell you what it is. I wonder what Pisha will give us, and what it will do for us. Also, I still have that treasure chest full of things, and I have no idea what any of that crap does. Eh? Eh? No? Okay then. Once more, we step through this gauntlet. This vent is feeble, not even worth mentioning. should be like a shortcut. Watch it be down there. It's probably a shortcut in Pish's room and I just never bothered to take the time to look around and see where the hell it is. But that would be crazy, right? Right? Pisha, I have a book for you. Yes. The dead book, Widow. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? Where is my prize? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills <laughs> dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I felt this before. Yes, Discord hangs over us like a heavy apple on a withering branch. In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. For anyone that doesn't know, Kristallnacht means Night of Broken Glass. It was a night in which a Basically, a bunch of racists went around and crushed all the windows of uh, Jewish-owned uh, Jewish shops. They were Nazis. One can jump high, but never escape gravity. Farewell. Now, if you really want to, you can take the time to kill Pisha here, and she will die. But I'm not that crazy. Vents. Hey, I'm stuck. 
I swear to Christ, if this is that. I hate everything. How many times did I go through this whole damn hospital? I hate you, Pisha. Get the hell out of my city. Let's go talk to Ming Zhao. I wonder if she has anything to say. I mean, I just killed the double dragon twins. I'm sure she isn't particularly fond of me. Besides, we need somewhere. to talk to Sang. He's got things I need. We can go back to the Giovanni mansion. That seems like a horrible idea. On the other hand, I might find treasure there. Maybe I'll go back there off camera, who knows. It could be fun. How long does that party last? I wonder if Nadia's still in the basement. I'm sure the zombies got her by now. I mean, she's young, but she's not that stupid. She left, right? Rustling robes of the Reaper. Hi. Do you have any black tea grenades? Maybe herbal remedy boom booms? Welcome back. Something in a large caliber remedy? Um, is that? Okay, okay. That's not what I thought it was. Ooh. Lethality 20, Jesus. That is the highest lethality of any gun even available to me. I mean, it's tempting. It really is. It's not even that expensive. Mercury's got that sniper rifle for uh, for sale. Hmm. This is what I'm looking for. That no, that's not what I'm looking for. Where is? Oh, uh, is it only Mercury that sells Desert Eagle rounds? Because that really puts a hamper in the whole thing. And eh, nuts. Well, I'll see Mercury later then. Let's talk to Ming Zhao. She might have interesting things to say regarding this alliance between LaCroix and herself. Mother shan't be too pleased. Also, I wonder if Mr. Ox is still in the shop. I'll be dipped. Hey man, I didn't find a soul on the sixth path of six... Wait, I didn't find a soul to sell on the six paths, but... You are always welcome here. Cool. I wondered something from you. Yes? Oh, I guess I'm leaving. Dang you, Mr. Ox. You very intriguing character, you. And who are you? Oh, look who it is! A badass of Chinatown! You want fortune red, Mr. Superhero? Maybe you interested in making some cash? What? Making cash? Random experience points I didn't know about. I am anxious about my fate. Five dollar! Here, forecast my fate. You going to get a visitor at your door next week. Don't open door! Get your whole the witness! They so annoying! Ah <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Dude, go around. This fortune booth, not information. I already know. I don't want to know. Well, I thought he had a quest. Whatever. But have you ever had a Jehovah Witness on your door? I mean, they kind of are annoying. Like, they're annoying in like an ultra-polite kind of way that you just, you can't bring yourself to really tell them to fuck off. Was there something else, Kindred? I crushed the chains into gooey gristle. A most unfortunate crossing of paths. They spoke of your clandestine connection with LaCroix. Let me assure you that my agents, the Chang brothers, speak with no diplomatic authority. 
You were told not an answer to my inquiry. I may or may not choose to speak with you, the Prince, or anyone else for that matter. Speaking does not make us allies. Yeah, I mind your grey magic. What can I help you with? Oh yeah, she seems so helpful. Uncover this conundrum of the equation. There is much kindred have to learn about our ways. I think I've already asked her about this. Tell me if you're human herd. Humans? What is it you would like to know? How do you mingle with these mortals? In our homeland, man and supernatural live in uneasy harmony. Our mortals see spirituality in all things, and our existence is taken for granted. An open secret is the easiest to keep. You still hide f from your human herd. We do, in fact. Our purpose is to seek transcendence. Interfering in mortals' lives, or their interference in Quajian unlives, detracts from this pursuit. You guide spirits both mortal and mystical. My purpose touches many lives. Such is my path. Intertwine, interfere. I mean it in the most practical sense. Does the parent show the child contempt by protecting it? To help those weaker than oneself is a tenet of my order. Your words ring true, mirror mistress. The mortals of our domain are blessedly humble, simple, and content to avoid supernatural attention, which is more than can be said for Western stock. Speak further, mirror mistress. Were we not all human at one point? It is not obvious, kindred, that mortality is not the end. Is it then not unreasonable to think that further existences lie beyond? That we are all simply transforming? Your words ring true, Mirror Mistress. This is what we seek, or at least as best as I can explain it to you. I'm not quite sure what that one means. Acidic your tongue, mistress. Let's say it. For fun. No. I am sorry if my words are sharp. Such are our ways. What, what else can, can I help find you out? with? I'm no longer here. So, old Malkav there is telling me that there's a bit of truth to her, huh? A mistress of mirrors, but not all of them false. You gonna give me a quest? This fortune booth, not information. I know. I don't want to know. I guess no quest. I'm just gonna check. Oh, dip! Ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned in. I'm your lovely hostess. What the shit? I don't know what I just walked into, but I'm walking out. Anyways, that was really weird. Let's go see the red dragon. Let's see what Mr. Wong is up to. Never pass up free blood. She was just kind of standing there, so. Freckles. So, I'm gonna hate asking this, but my sushi? Was there something else? Oh, fishies. No, that was a hockey for that.
Right, right. Hello. The button. Shame I can't use the throbbing star, Mr. Mr. Long is gone. He is just gone, gone. Maybe him, the daughter, and um, Zhao all booked it at the same time. What's his name, Zhao? Dude in the warehouse. We had that awesome firefight. Hmm. I already fed from you. I can't talk to you. Oh man. I smell a rancid grave. Damn. Was that a quest I missed or something? It's not my problem. Oh shit, does that mean I... Oh, I guess I should go back to the noodle shop then. What if that was Kiki behind the door there? Dad's back and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to get into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're too much time to dub of night. Yeesh. What the hell was that? Isn't this the back of the noodle shop, though? Uh, usual request. What does that say? And what the hell was that? That is the back of the noodle shop, right? Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. Ayashi, ne? I am she. I am not like all the rest. But I have no vengeance for you. Yet. Are you lost? Japan is that way. I am she, Demon Hunter. I come to this city for the blood of the demon that killed my master. Do not interfere. My revenge will cut through you if it has to. If you hear from my head, my body is using it. Demon and man live in this world against each other. It is forever, maybe. I cannot kill all demons, Dekido. I can punish most wicked. Behave yourself. A hunter without a stick at my chest. Something feels wrong. Cute, ne? I bet you say that to all hunter. You cannot charm me, demon. Are you sure you won't let me have just a taste? Behave, demon. My sword is angry and hungry for your blood. Good sword. Nice sword. You are a long way from Japan. Why? I hunt. Hengeyoka. My sensei killed demon that killed my family. And now I take the life of his killer. I follow trail of corpses from Japan to Rosu and Garesu. Hange Yokai is here, and it will die here. Something smells fishy. Yes! Hange Yokai smells like fish! Do you know? 
No. Why does it smell like fish? Henge yokai is a demon that hides in the skin of man. But it is not man. It masquerades. I know this bit. I know he is nearby. Edo... I lose its trail. Do you meet Henge yokai? If I smell it, I will come get you. Hontone? I appreciate your concern for my vengeance. Arigato gozaimasu. Do not pity Henge yokai. It is a bad demon. The kind that make little girl into hunter. I am curious. Money? Things in the temple. Tell me of them. They are ghost people. Ghost and dead person. I do not like Kuijin. I do not like demons. Excuse me. I'm still curious. Nani? His scent is strong. Why? Hanga yokai scent smell like... Sakana. Fishes. I don't know why. Maybe other demons know why. I smell it too. Let me follow its trail. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Republican Senator Robert Thorne. Oh, damn. Why do you have a robot arm? Try virtual meeting. So, if we divert advertising away from expensive television spots and spread it around full page ads in the leading men's magazine. Well, that was freaking weird. Also, I think Kiki might have been the girl in the back room that just got horribly slaughtered. I probably should have went to the back room. But I had no idea at the time. Unfortunately for Kiki, now the entire family is gone. Not exactly a perfect playthrough that we're going through here. But this is hardly a perfect brain for a perfect playthrough. I am a cracked, broken thing. And we'll explore more of that next time. We gotta find this Hakiyoki, whatever she said. Until then, farewell, vampire.